Hello, my name is Catherine Smith and welcome to my presentation on civil engineering. I'm a lecturer at Leeds College of Building and I want to um, just give you an insight in what, what civil engineering is all about and how you can progress your career and apply at Leeds College of Building. Okay, so what is civil engineering? Civil engineering is everything that you see that's being built around us. It's the roads, the railways, schools, offices, hospitals, water and power supply. The kind of things we take for granted but would find life very hard to live without. So what do civil engineers do? They design, create and connect the world around us. They help make our villages and towns and cities work for the people that live there. Civil engineering is usually split into three main areas, highways and transport, coastal and marine and water engineering. So we think about the everyday things that we take for granted, our water supply, how does the water supply get installed and maintained? We think about the infrastructure in terms of electricity, um, building that power network in this country, and we also think about the gas network. So these are things that we rely on, our utilities that we rely on. The shelter people, so we look at um, looking at flood defences, looking how we protect our residents from the elements of climate change, especially at the moment. And they help us get from A to B. So we think about transport um, and networks. So we think might think about railway engineering. We might think about the construction of new roads and bridges. Civil engineering is all, all of this. And civil engineering is all about making the best use of our resources. There's a picture here of the Hoover Dam. Um, and obviously reservoirs and dams are what we use to um, contain our water supply and give us that continuity that we're so used to. So who are civil engineers? So civil engineering covers a huge range of jobs and all types of engineering. Civil engineers come from all different backgrounds and they spend um, many years training, learning and getting qualifications and professional recognition. So they work usually predominantly civil engineers work in design offices and they supervise on site. Working with a number of people and um, they work with architects, designers, conservationists, surveyors, planners and a range of other people to pull their projects together. So how do I come, become a civil engineer? For those of you who don't have um, the relevant A levels or a, a level three qualification, then we look at doing a bridging course for you. Um, and this is a, a one day a week course and it just gets you up to scratch with what's what's required um, and make sure you're ready for the rigours of a HNC course. So we look at health and safety, surveying, site engineering, um, further maths for construction. So this is really sort of A-level maths. And then we look at construction for civil engineering and the principles of structural mechanics. And these are all the basics that give you an in-depth into what you're going to be covering at level four, but a lower level at level three. So you're ready and confident to continue with your studies. OK, so once you've got your level three qualifications, then you can decide whether you're going to study for a degree up to level six. Um, through an apprenticeship route or through a vocational um, qualification route. And once you get these qualifications, they'll give you the academic base to become professionally qualified as an engineer or an engineering technician, and obviously get letters after your name. Okay, so when you're ready to move on to your level four, you can study that full-time or part-time. Um, and these are the following units you'll cover. And what they do do is give you a broad understanding of what a role of a civil engineer does. So we look at principles of structural design, so whether you're designing a bridge or a highway, um, obviously the mathematics to, to back that up. Maths is really key and so is science in this course. So it's, it's really good if you've got a good aptitude for that to make the good choices for selection of materials for you to construct your construction projects. We look at construction practice and management, which is um, how construction industries are run and financed and um, what contracts are in place. And we also look at um, constructional technology. So we're thinking about the choice of plant and machinery that we'll use on site and how we create what we've designed. Okay. Once you finish your level four, so you, obviously you can study these courses, you can then move on to do your level five. And these are the units that you have to study on your level five at Leeds College of Building. Um, these courses, if you're doing them full time, take a year to complete. If you're doing them part time, they take 18 months and then we do that on a day release basis. So one day a week. Just wanted to discuss, obviously, after you're doing your level five, you, you are, can be qualified as a civil engineer. Um, but you can go on and do a level six qualification and hire at, a, at another institution. Um, we also think about the apprenticeships you could apply for. So find an employer to employ you and you'll come to college one day a week with four days a week at work. So again, they usually pick up your, your course fees there or you can come and study full time as you would do normally in a, in a full time course. 
Okay, so if you do want to apply for a course with us, whether it's the bridging course or a level three lower qualification course, or you want to go on for the straight on for the HNC or the HND, then it's lcb.ac.uk um, and, and find your civil engineering course there. We'll also be on for a live chat straight away after this for an hour.